What's up, Clarity Coders? So I had this idea for kind of a fun series. I'm looking at projecteuler.net. Now, I don't know if any of you guys tried this back in the day. This was like leak code before leak code. They just had random problems that you could solve using programs. And it's way past its prime now, right? Uh, the, I'm sure it hasn't been updated in a while, but I wanted to go back and revisit it with you guys on Fridays. We'll try a problem, see how much we struggle to get through it. My goal is to not use ChatGPT, except to help me along with some of the math. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Now, these are the problems. I think there's actually a reward if you get so many. I think if you go to statistics, Oh, so to get in the top 1%, you have to solve more than 108 problems to get the 1% of our awards. So that, that's our goal here. Let's go back to the archives here. We'll look at our first problem. Now, the first ones are pretty easy, so hopefully we should be able to tackle it. You can use any language you want. This one's called multiples of 3 and 5. So list all natural numbers below 10 that are multiples of 3 and 5. If... Oh, uh, we get three, I can't even read. We get three, five, six, and nine. The sum of those numbers is 23. Find the sum of all multiples of three or five below a thousand. So this one should be pretty easy. We can keep a running total, loop through all the numbers from one to 1,000, sum them up, and then we will check our answer. Now, surely I can handle this one. I got Visual Studio Code up. I just created a new directory, that's all. Like I said, you can use any language you want. I'm going to use Node.js for this just because I've been writing in JavaScript a lot. We'll call this problem one.js. Font's nice and no code copilot, right? Can't be using that. Zoom in a couple more. So this one's pretty easy, so we'll say four. We can have let i equal one. Let's start at one. And then we need a condition. So we'll say when i is less than or equal to 1,000, we will do i plus plus. We got our nice loop. We can do console.log i out. Now, I made a mistake out of the gate when I'm trying to, not to use any documentation. Don't use uh, commas there. These are semicolons. So if we get this, this should give us all the numbers. I'll open up a terminal here. I'll just say node problem and then hit tab. And you'll see we get all of our numbers between 1 and 1,000. So now all we should have to do is say if I... And then we'll use modular division here. So that is done with the percent operator. That's going to tell us if it has a remainder or not. So I can say I percent three. If that equals zero or, oops, or if I mod five equals zero, then we wanna add it to our total. Up above, we can just have a const total equals zero. Do let, because we're gonna to add to it. So I have const total equals zero, so if this is true, then total plus equals whatever is stored in i. So now this is pretty straightforward, but we have a variable declared up top. We have our for loop going through all the numbers. If it is evenly divisible by three or five, that means it's a multiple. Now we need to use the or operator because either case, we want to add it to our total. And then just so we know it at the end, we need to do console.log our total here. We might be able to do this in like one adult beverage on a Friday. I'll run this program. This is the number I get, 234,168. I will grab that. We'll head back to Project Euler. 
Put that in here, hit our check button. And we were incorrect. Holy cow. Let's change things around a little bit. Instead of console.logging out I here, let's console.log out I here. Now this looks pretty straightforward. Let's see if we're any weirdness. So the first one is three, five, six, nine. Now it is counting a thousand as well. Let's read the question again. That might be our gotcha. Yep, it's below a thousand. Be careful, guys. You got to read. So not less than or equal to a thousand. We want to do less than one thousand. Probably don't need this console.log anymore. Hopefully, we're still on our first adult beverage. We got a new number here. It's a thousand less, I'm sure. Go back to Project Euler. Hit check. And we got our first problem. Look at that. Now we got one more step here, of course. We gotta see what the most efficient solution is according to ChatGPT. Let's say I need to find every, I need to find the sum of every number below 1000 that is a multiple of three or five. Can you give me the answer and write me a JavaScript program that gives the most efficient solution? Don't worry about my spelling, people. Efficient. There we go. Let's see what ChatGPT has to say. It already knows the answer. It knows it's project Euler number one. It's giving us the most efficient solution in its mind. Instead of looping through all the numbers below 1000, we can use a formula for the sum of the arithmetic progression, the idea. So the sum of multiples of n below your limit where the math is the floor, add the sum of the multiples. Oh, this sounds intense. So just, just so we're all clear here, as soon as we got into big O notation in college, I kind of zoned out. In the industry I currently work, at least, it is solve the problem, period. So problems like this that I can solve with a slightly inefficient program, that's not a big deal. But this is a... Brilliant way of looking at it, although I don't totally understand out of the gate. We can break it down, and I'm sure we could. Okay, here's the trick. Instead of writing them all down, we use a shortcut to find the sum of all multiple of three. We just count how many fit under a 1,000. That's 33 of them, and then use the triangle number formula. Okay, multiply that by three since it's multiples of three and do the same for five. And then we gotta subtract the multiples of 15. Well, I wouldn't have figured that out. If you would have let me know in the comments below, we did accomplish the first problem though. So that one's under our belt. I will see you guys next week with hopefully another success story.